And we're back in the mechanical room. And that crazy noise is that uh, little mini split right there. Uh, yeah, it's terrible, I know. Condenser fan motor uh, bearings, I guess. Anyway, this is why we're here. This is a train and telepack self-contained unit. Basically, it's a straight cool. It's got two compressors in it, and then it uses for heating. It's hydronic, and then it's connected to a Veritrack system. And uh, we had an alarm. The power's off right now. I'm just doing a regular maintenance on this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and change the filters, check the belt, do all that good stuff. Just make sure everything is fine. Then we're going to turn it back on and see if we can find out why we got the alarm. So the alarm was a low air sensor, so which means that it's... Um, it's, it's an anti-freeze protection, so if like the coil gets too cold, it cuts itself off before it starts freezing up the coils. Um, so we gotta find out what that could be. It could be a stuck economizer, um, could be a bad belt, you know, broken belt, maybe blower motor's not spinning. You know, it could be a lot of different things. Dirty filters, I've already started changing the filters. Um, let's have a look in there. So here we go. Okay, so here's uh, up there. Those, that's the return, and then those right there, that's the economizer. It looks like it's closed. So we got to see if we can make that thing open. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the PM, and then we'll get into testing. Okay, so we're all done with our PM here. So we have it stopped. We're going to go ahead and go into service mode. And one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure that the, um, that the economizer is opening and closing. So we're going to knock that out first. So I'm in uh, service mode, and bear with me, I'm new to this myself. Uh, so we're gonna hit next, and I wanna find my outdoor air. Uh, where is it at? That's compressors, hydronic, outdoor air. So I want 100% open. So I am going to push that up to 100%. And I hit enter. And let me make sure. All right, supply air. Okay, so I have my supply fan off, so I'm gonna hit start test. And it's gonna count down to four, or count down to five. And we're gonna go ahead and peek inside and see if that damper's moving. Okay, so it does look like it's opening. And our return is closing. Okay, so it looks like our damper controls are working fine. So the return air is closed, and then that's our fresh air intake. It's completely open. So I'm going to go ahead and um, close, make sure I'm going to go ahead and close the fresh air and open up the return. Okay, so back to this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go previous. All right, oops, service mode. We want. We want our uh, outdoor air, outdoor air. So we're gonna go ahead and go to 0% and that's to get it to close because right now it's open 100%. So we put our setting and then we hit enter. And now we'll go over there and see if it, if it opens up or closes. Okay, so our fresh air amp damper is uh, opening and closing fine. So we've knocked that out. So let's go ahead and turn on and make sure the blower works. Um, so we're gonna go back to service mode and we want supply air. It's off, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. And then we're gonna go to next and we're gonna set that to 100% enter. And now we're gonna see if this thing uh, ramps up. She's spinning, so the blower motor seems to be fine. I'll go ahead and pop this last filter in here. Now this guy is using a VFD, so we can see what the frequency is. Ah, what's this? So 
So we're at 92%. Warning 12. Current limit. Now I did check the belt. The belt seems to be fine. It's spinning freely. Uh, we went ahead and greased it up. So, hmm. Oh, we're at 98. We're going to let it run for a little bit and see what's up. All right, well, we're at 99%, um, 98, 99. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on the compressors and see what they're doing. So we're going to go ahead and find our compressors, which I think is over here. Yeah, so these are our compressors. All right, so compressor one, circuit one. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn that on. All right, first compressor's on. We can go ahead and turn on our second one. And these are two separate circuits. All right, cool, they're both on. So we're gonna get hit status, and we can get temperatures. Uh, I forget where it is, I think it's this one here. And enter. So let's see, so our supply air temperature, 77. Now I just turned them on, so it's gonna take a minute. What I'm interested in is I want to see what my evaporator is. So that's our return. So we got about 80 degrees. Here we go. So this is our, circuit, our first circuit number one. So our evaporator and saturation temperature is at 57 and dropping. Saturation temperature is... Uh, our for the condenser is 75 and climbing. Now we just turned it on, so we gotta give it a while to stabilize. So we'll wait for that. And if we hit next, we can see the second circuit. This one's at 45 saturation on the evap, 75 on condensing. So we're gonna let it run for a while and see what it does. Okay, so she's been running a while. So our circuit two is at 37 degrees saturation on our uh, evap. And our condensing saturation is at 83. Uh, let's see, so it's about, it's 55 degrees outside. So we're about 30, a little over 30 degrees above ambient for our condensing temperature. So a little bit high head, but you know, could just be the uh, cooling tower might be dirty. I haven't been up there yet, but this is looking okay. Let's check out our other circuit. Uh, so circuit one, it's about the same. So refrigerant-wise, looks like it's okay. So it's not like it's freezing up or anything. Let's see. So our return 78. It's our supply. 54, so we're about 23 degrees delta between supply and return. Okay. So now I'm done with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And now it's going to go ahead and stop and it's going to reboot itself. So I can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, it seems like everything seems to be working. So we'll probably be checking on this one in a little bit. But I've already cleared the alarm. So the unit has stopped. Now that I'm all done, I want to put it back on to, um, you know, normal mode. It's gonna hit auto. And then I'm just gonna hang out here and wait till the uh, fan turns on just to make sure that there's no other problems. Now we've cleared the error code. So this was on when I got here. And when we go to diagnostic, it actually said something. Now if I hit next, I can go to the history. See, this is the error code I was getting. So it was a low air uh, temp limit trip. So there's a little limit temperature limit switch in there that we've reset. <clears throat> so, but uh, I cleared it. So we're gonna put it back in normal mode and then hopefully, uh, hopefully it, uh, it runs normal. Okay, so this is, uh, these are the uh, boilers that uh, provide the warm water for the hydronic heating system. So it looks like there's two of them here. And these things will actually work together. 
What's crazy too is if you look at this burner assembly, it's just like an ultra low nux furnace. And then here's all the pumps that pump the warm water through. Uh, so that th these right here are for the uh, for the uh, what do you call it for the uh, cooling tower, and then these right here I believe are for the uh, for the hot water, yeah, for the heating water. Okay, and so this is the cooling tower. So it's a water source heat. Uh, it's a water source air conditioner. So basically, it absorbs the heat from the air, transfers it to the water, and then the water, that warm water, comes here and then it releases the heat off of the water and then goes back into the unit. So yeah, and uh, all this dirt, that's uh, actually pi pigeon poop. Um, you can see there's a dead pigeon there, a couple dead pigeons there. Apparently they used to get in there and the fan blades, you can't see them here, but the fan blades are about six feet uh, in diameter. So, you know, we had uh, some pigeons getting chopped up um, it actually smells pretty nasty out up here, but yeah. Here's the inside of the uh, cooling tower. And those are the fan blades up there. Yeah, no dead pigeons floating, so that's good. And this is the top of the cooling tower. So those fan blades are pretty long. And yeah, that's how far down it is. Not quite uh, warm enough for this thing to be operating yet, but uh, it will be soon. Probably be coming back and cleaning this guy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am, hit that bell notification, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.